the idea with these, as math people, is to get everyone to quit. Right? Don't give up. Just understand, this, this problem, if you're doing it at home, it may take you half an hour. It may take you 45 minutes. Some people may take two full hours. All right? That's not a bad thing. It doesn't make you an evil person. But the jerk face that made this up, yeah, it kind of makes him kind of a jerk, right? So you wouldn't just flip it and then make it one huge fraction? Uh, you could. You could. What we have here is an order of operations debacle. But yes, we should do the division first, right? So along what you're saying there, Megan, is that it's not going to affect that first term no matter what. So we stuff 25x squared minus 4y squared. By the way, some of you may opt to do the factoring first, which would be fine. 8y cubed. Now, again, we don't usually show this division garbage, so we would change it to multiplication and then flip those two. So this would be 5x minus 10y all over 20x plus 8y. And then this is being multiplied by 25x squared plus 10xy plus 4y squared all over 25x squared minus 15xy plus 2y squared. And that's what I'm going to do is to change this into one big one big fraction. So um, do that one in purple, uh, red purple. What other colors have I got? I got a blue one. We got some green over here. Do this one in brown. Starting to look really pretty, though. All right, so let's start with. Oh, you know what? Let me give myself some space. It's just starting now. Oh, okay. So we got 25x squared minus 4y squared. This is the difference of squares. We got two perfect squares. We got a 5x minus a 2y. And we got a 5x plus. 2y there in the red. Now for the purple, 5x minus 10y. Looks like I can factor out a 5, so I got an x minus 2y. Then the blue, 25x squared plus 10xy plus 4y squared. Hmm. Well, uh, looks like we're going to multiply the A and the C value on this one. 4 times 25 is 100. We need two factors of 100 that add up to 10. Uh, 20, no, not 20 and 5, 10 and 10, no. All right, so the blue part there is not going to factor out. It can't be factored. That's not a problem. Uh, it just may, again, upset us because we thought that it could, and it didn't. So I'm going to get rid of the factors there. It just can't be factored. Now let's look at the green one. And, yes, it looks like that one's going to turn out pretty good. we got a 125x cubed minus 8y cubed. Those are two perfect cubes, 5, 25, yeah, okay. So this would give us 5x minus 2y. Then we got a, no, sorry, 25x squared. So the opposite would be plus uh, 5x times uh, 2y would be 10xy. And then plus... 2y squared, so 4y squared. And it looks like they do match. That blue and the green do match, so we'll be able to cancel those out. But we'll cancel them later because we're just focusing on each part separately. Next, I've got this 20x plus 8y. And it appears we can factor out a 4 from this, giving us 5x 
plus 2y, which hopefully does look familiar. We'll be able to cancel out something from that. Now in orange, which I rarely have to use, we got uh, 25x squared minus 15xy plus 2y squared. So we got 25 times 2, which is 50. We need two factors of 50 that add up to negative 15. So we'll look at the negative factors. Yeah, negative 5 and negative 10. So we'll probably have to factor this by grouping, though. So we got 25x squared minus 5xy minus 10xy plus 2y squared. And then I can factor out a 5x from both of those, these first two, giving us 5x minus y. Then I'll factor out a negative 2y from these other two, giving us 5x minus y. Well, that's great. That turned out really good because in the end, it gives us 5x minus 2y times 5x minus y. Well, let's write this expression then. So zooming in on this thing so we can actually write it. So in the red, we had uh, 5x minus 2y and 5x plus 2y. Then in purple, we factor out a 5, giving us a x minus 2y. And then what we had in blue didn't factor out, right? 25x squared plus 10xy plus 4y squared. Uh, all right, so there it is. That looks pretty good. Um, well, I'll just use black. Now we just need to find terms that maybe cancel out, like 5x minus 2y with 5x minus 2y. And then uh, 5x plus 2y with 5x plus 2y. I'll put two marks on that to indicate that they canceled each other out. I don't have anything to cancel out the 5. Do I have any x minus 2y's? I don't see any. But I do see 25x squared plus 10xy plus 4y squared. I'll put three marks on that since it cancels out this one with three marks. So what do we have left over in the numerator? I got a 5, then x minus 2y. And then in the denominator, we had that brown 4 left over, and then whatever was left in orange, 5x minus 2y, and 5x minus y.